Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this classic t-shirt for a stuffed animal. The measurements I used are specifically for a Build-A-Bear. Now let's get started! I'm going to be making this for my Build-A-Bear Coco, and what you'll need is some pins, sewing scissors, velcro, any kind of fabric, and your patterns. So this is the measurements I used, and this will fit a standard Build-A-Bear. We'll start by cutting out our pieces. So I'm just going to take this first piece. This is going to be the front of the shirt. And I only need one of these pieces, so I'm just going to put it on one layer of fabric and cut it out. And I'm going to repeat that for the back pieces. So I cut that out, and now we can move on to the sleeves. So I'm actually going to use a plain white fabric for the sleeves because I actually ran out of the heart fabric. But it's okay, I think it'll go well with it, and you can feel free to do a different color or you could just use the same fabric. So I'm just going to cut these out. Another thing we'll need is actually a collar. I just cut this off of an old t-shirt I didn't need, but if you don't have this, it's okay. You can just use a strip of fabric folded in half, or you could just hem right where we add the collar. So the next thing we're gonna do is hem the bottom of each of these pieces. So I'm just going to fold over the bottom twice on the front and back pieces of the t-shirt, and I'm just gonna pin this all the way down for all of these pieces. And then I'm just going to do a straight stitch. After that, we can sew on our collar. So I'm just going to put them good side to good side and pin right around the neckline. And remember, if you don't have a collar, it's okay. You can just fold over the cloth right around this neckline to hem it. And now that that's done, I'm just going to trim it off. And I'm going to repeat this for the back pieces because a collar goes all the way around the shirt. And then I'm just going to sew a straight stitch right along there. Okay, now that that's done, we can set this front piece aside and work on the back pieces. And we're gonna need to fold over this edge where the Velcro is gonna go. So I'm gonna trim off the collar a little bit and just fold this over once since the Velcro will cover it. And I'm just gonna pin this in place and I'll do this to the other side and then just sew a straight stitch right along there. And it actually got stuck in my sewing machine so I had to do it by hand, but it's okay because we're gonna go over it again with the Velcro. So I'm just gonna lay one side of the Velcro on one piece and I'll do the same to the other side. Just make sure they're on opposite sides of the fabric or else they're not going to match up. And I'm actually gonna do a zigzag stitch straight down from the top of the Velcro to the bottom just because this is so thin and I don't wanna have to go up and down with the straight stitch. Now that that's done, we can get our front piece back and now we're going to sew the tops together. So I actually left mine a little bit long just so it would fit since I was kind of running out of fabric, but I think it'll all match up and I'm just gonna pin the tops good side to good side and sew a straight line across there. Okay, now I'm gonna trim off the extra fabric and we can work on the sleeves. So this curved part is actually what's going to be sewn to the t-shirt. So for this long side, I'm going to hem that part by folding it over twice, and I'm just going to pin that down and repeat on the other one, and I'm just going to do a straight stitch there. Now that that's done, we can sew the sleeves onto the shirt. So we're going to have to sew these curves together, and it'll have to be good side to good side, which makes this look a little weird and a little complicated, but it will all work out in the end. You just got to try to match up the curves to each other and I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm just gonna do a straight stitch following those curves. Now that that's done, we are almost finished. Now I'm just going to pin down the bottoms of the sleeves and the sides of the t-shirt. And that's the last thing we have to sew up. So I'm just gonna do a straight stitch right around there to close up this t-shirt. When that's done, you're basically finished. All I'm gonna do now is trim off some extra fabric from the sleeves. And then you can just turn this inside out and try it on your stuffed animal. Because of the Velcro, this will be really easy to get on and off since you don't have to squeeze anything over their heads. And I'm just going to try this on Coco now. Now you can pair this basic t-shirt with any bottoms you like. I just went with plain jean shorts. And after putting it on, I actually noticed that the sleeves were a little long for me. All I did to fix that was fold in the sleeves a little bit after this. 
and that is how to make a basic t-shirt for a stuffed animal. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye!